Today's video is going to be all about Christmas ornaments. Um, I have some traditional one dimensional flat uh, Christmas ornaments and then I have a couple that are three dimensional. And all together I have eight ornaments. So let me show them. Here we go. All right, so first of all, I am going to just go ahead and show you Christmas balls. Everybody uses Christmas balls um, on their Christmas trees. These are crocheted ones. First are the flat one dimensionals. Okay, just a simple, really simple. And you have it in gold and red and green. Now, all of my Christmas ornaments that I am sharing with you today are in the traditional green and red, gold and white colors. Of course, you can interchange these colors, make them any color that your Christmas theme is, whether it's blue and silver, burgundy and gold, um, whatever it may be, make your Christmas ornaments that color. And I dropped one. So... These are just like you would make a coaster. They're just simple rounds. Um, the You make a magic ring and you would double crochet in the center, increase for the second round, increase again for the third round. And then the top is just two little rows of double crochet and a little thing to hang. I mean, it's really simple. And they're so cute. I can picture these hanging all over the tree. All of these things I am going to link either the video where I found them or my pattern in the description box below. Um, my patterns will end up directing you over to my Etsy shop, um, but the other ones will just direct you over to the video that I saw and crocheted these with. Um, these here are my own, so I'll go ahead and I'll put the link over to my shop. Don't worry, it's a very, very inexpensive pattern. Next are the three-dimensional balls. Okay, um, I have this red and green one. See, And then I have this red and white one. And I went ahead and crocheted like little silver toppings on the top, like you would have those little those little metal things that that you end up putting on your balls with the little hook, so that they would look more realistic. And then I stuffed them with some polyfill stuffing. Again, I will put this link, all the links in the description box below. Next, I have little Christmas trees. I have this one hair that just keeps on wanting to go in my mouth. It's really bugging me. Forgive me, I'm constantly doing this. Next is this little Christmas tree. All of these are really beginner friendly. These are so simple. This one is, you know, simply crocheting in the um, back loop only. And then a little half double crochets for the trunk. This one's a smaller version. I created a bigger one. And then all I did was take away a couple of rows and made this smaller one just to, to show you that you don't have to go exactly what the pattern says. You can go ahead and change it up. Next, I found these snowflakes online. This young lady was crocheting these snowflakes and I thought they were really pretty, so I gave them a try. And here's a gold one. And 
here's a white sparkly one. You can wet them if you want them to be stiff. Wet them and then just in the points, pin them to just a piece of cardboard would work and let it dry and it will dry um, in a nice uniform flat. You don't have to necessarily starch it. You can just pin it or you can just leave it as it is. They're really pretty. Next, love it. These little Christmas stockings. Aren't they adorable? See? Again, I found this one online. And it's it's the heel kind of threw me off a little bit, but I, I like the way that they they turned out. You have to give her pattern a try. It's really cool. And the good thing about these is that they are really, they're stockings. So that you can put like a little chapstick or a little thing of Tic Tacs or put anything in here for little stocking stuffers. I mean, it's just really adorable. Okay, then we have, I love these. They're so cute and they're so easy. A little Christmas wreath. I had so much fun making these and this little Christmas wreath, the little, little bow, the bows are different. You can make them however you wish. And all these are, you're not going to believe it. All these are is I chained 50 and then in each chain, I single crochet two, which caused it to curl. I did that with red and then I did that with white and then I just um, twisted them together. They just kind of fit right in. And then on the back, I just sewed it together and then created a little bow. So simple. Okay, I just wanted to throw in there that um, you might want to stick around to the very end of this video because there's something extra that I'm going to be sharing with you. So just when you think that I am done showing you the eight ornaments, don't go away. I got something else I want to share. All right, let's see. What do we have next? Garland or decoration for up over um, a doorway or something. Check these out. I absolutely love them. They look like those old-fashioned Christmas bulbs that you would have on your tree. They are so easy to make. I um, saw a picture of these online. I didn't go ahead and copy their pattern. I just winged it by looking at it to see if I could create my own. And this is what I come up with. This one, this particular one has nine um, bulbs on it and it's connected. Each one of them is connected on a, on a chain and then I just slip stitched down the chain to, to make it a little bit thicker so it wasn't so, so flimsy. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang this one up. I have an opening between my living room and my kitchen. I'm gonna hang that one up over. I really like it. It's a really neat idea. And then I have been doing these, oh my gosh, mm, decades. I, I can't even remember the first time that I made these, but they've been a really big hit in my family. Okay, I am going to say at least 40 years ago is when I made my first one. Yep. I used to give these away as little Christmas gifts to everybody to hang on their tree. And they absolutely love them. Can't ever get sick of them. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a tutorial on this one. I, I think that you're gonna like it. 
Let me know if you've heard of them. I couldn't find any online. Check it out. Isn't that adorable? Look at the little pom-pom. Little and this is a paper clip. It is so easy. I did it in gold. And in green. And in red. See? Just hanging on your tree. Just like that. Gold and green and red. Little skates. Little adorable little skates. Let me know if you like these and if you're going to give these a try. Okay. So that was the eight Christmas ornaments that I made that I wanted to share with you. Um, but I have one more thing that I want to show you. I filmed a tutorial on these and um, everyone, they seem to be a big hit. So I wanted to share them with you. It's these coasters. I'm going to undo this little thing that I put on here. I'll link the tutorial if you want to go ahead and crochet these with me. It's a set of six. I have two gold ones. Oh, what is it with my hair today? I have these two gold ones. I have two green ones. And I have two red ones. Okay, so this red, green, and gold. I'll link the tutorial, like I said, um, or you can just skip on over uh, to my Etsy shop and get the pattern and just crochet them because they're they're really simple too. All of these things are really easy for beginners. If you like these Christmas ornaments and uh, you think that you're going to end up crocheting some, let me know what you decided to crochet. If you enjoyed watching this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for joining me and watching my video today, and I hope to see you again. Until next time, bye.